hello techies so today in this video we will discuss about avalanche energy and avalanche voltage across the mosfet so the first question is uh, what is uh, avalanche voltage and what is avalanche energy so the answer to this question is uh, quite simple so let's go to some data sheet and then we understand what exactly avalanche voltage is so here if you see I have, I have taken some random uh, MOSFET and this is 600 volt MOSFET uh, 600 volt is the breakdown voltage of this MOSFET so what happen is uh, during that so during on uh, off stage if the voltage across uh, MOSFET is less than 600 volt then it's a normal operation uh, for example if the voltage across MOSFET during turn off is uh, 400 volt, 500 volt, 550 volt, then still the operation is uh, uh, normal operation. But if in case uh, the voltage across uh, MOSFET uh, is greater than 600 volt, let's say uh, when you turn on turn off the MOSFET and you see that uh, voltage across MOSFET is uh, 650 volt or 700 volt, uh, that means that uh, uh, MOSFET may go into avalanche mode that means uh, MOSFET is operating under uh, avalanche uh, condition so in this case so the MOSFET could get failed sometimes MOSFET does not fail because of the avalanche energy and that, that avalanche energy is the related energy given by the uh, supplier so we have to check that uh, energy as well so to understand uh, <coughs> avalanche and, uh, voltage uh, let's uh, move to our display simulation so this is a simple uh, uh, some circuit simulation i have created this simulation to understand better <coughs> about the uh, um, avalanche so this circuit creates uh, avalanche uh, into this uh, mosfet so we will understand in detail what exactly happens so what happens is uh, when i turn on this mosfet so the path is closed this inductor is charged and uh, when i turn off this mosfet so there is no uh, closed path so this path is uh, open so but the energy in the inductor is stored but uh, during turn off uh, uh, inductor cannot hold the energy so it has to discharge its energy so what happens is so inductor discharges its whole energy into the MOSFET but MOSFET is turned off so this energy cannot flow further so what happens is so this energy is converted into uh, voltage which is, which is called inductive voltage so you see inductive voltage across the uh, drain to source and if this inductive voltage is uh, more than the breakdown voltage then we may start thinking that MOSFET has gone into avalanche so let's check uh, our circuit simulation and uh, see what exactly is going on uh, for the sake of uh, simplicity uh, I have taken 100 micro so let's run the simulation so now I have run the simulation. So VN zeros, VN zero zero two is uh, uh, this one drain to source, okay. And uh, VN and zero zero four is uh, gate voltage. This one and IL one and IDM two that means uh, drain current both are same because both are in series so now let's see so what happen is uh, uh, during uh, normal operation uh, when the gate is uh, turned off the MOSFET sees uh, 450 volt and when the gate is turned on the MOSFET sees around 1.75 volt right 
but here what happened is uh, as soon as we charged the inductor uh, inductor showed some energy and when we turn off the MOSFET here so we see a uh, sudden rise in the voltage is something around uh, 679 volt so this voltage is uh, nothing but nothing but uh, avalanche voltage because inductor has dumped its all energy into the MOSFET so let's see uh, if this is uh, really the avalanche voltage or not so this we can check by changing the uh, energy in the inductor and see if the MOSFET voltage is same or not so for the sake of simplicity I may have taken that uh, very high inductance because of which MOSFET is going into avalanche so let's see 50 micro and I can run the simulation nope the voltage is still the same uh, it's around uh, 670 volt so again let's uh, take around 20 micro so you can see the MOSFET voltage is uh, still 670 volt something yeah 670 volt so this means that uh, MOSFET voltage is not changing which means that uh, this MOSFET is under avalanche so uh, also you can <coughs> check uh, the avalanche energy so for avalanche energy you just have to uh, place the cursor on the MOSFET and press ALT ALT and then click so I will just uh, take additional plot pin right so in this region uh, you can see like uh, uh, this energy is coming down slowly slowly because inductor is discharging so let's see how much uh, this energy is so we open this uh, window area we try to max uh, like tighten this uh, window as much as possible so this is it this is the limit we'll try one once more okay so what you to do is so press control sorry not like this okay first uh, place cursor on the name then press control and then right click sorry then left click so you can see that uh, in this uh, region the energy is uh, 178 millijoule a 179 millijoule so let's quickly jump into data sheet and see so one thing is clear uh, this is a VDS is 600 volt but we see 670 volt MOSFET so this is still greater than so we expect we expect that uh, MOSFET will get failed so before judging uh, we have to check the avalanche energy so you have to see, since the, since uh, this is a single pulse so we will see a single pulse avalanche energy which is 60 millijoule so 60 millijoule this MOSFET can take for single pulse so but we are getting uh, around uh, 170 something yeah 179 so clearly this MOSFET uh, has gone into the failure so we can say that uh, this MOSFET has failed but now how to um, how to save this MOSFET so to save this MOSFET we know that uh, the problem for this failure is the inductor energy which is dumping into the MOSFET so somehow we have to divert this uh, inductor energy to some other place or make it a closed loop uh, so that inductor energy can keep on looping within itself so for this we can do is like uh, placing one diode so first uh, I will copy this whole circuit right and then I will place one diode make sure the uh, direction of the diode so it should be forward bias only when the switch is uh, turned off so now we have a two uh, circuit one with a blanche 
and let's see what happens what happens to another circuit for the sake of simplicity i will uh, remove this uh, and place here okay i will remove this also now i will place uh, I, I will check what is the energy, uh, voltage for this circuit here so you can see the voltage in this circuit is uh, 450 volt so this means that uh, this MOSFET is saved and it's not under avalanche. This is the same concept in flyback, flyback also. So you can consider that consider this as a primary side of uh, flyback. So this whole circuit is a primary side of a flyback. So now in this circuit MOSFET is not in avalanche, but in this circuit MOSFET is in avalanche. And just because of this uh, one diode, uh, this MOSFET got saved and it's not in under the failure right so also if you want you can calculate the avalanche voltage how much is the avalanche voltage so simply you have to do is uh, 450 volt plus uh, ld ability will give the voltage at this point yep so we have seen that uh, what is uh, avalanche voltage avalanche energy how to prevent avalanche and uh, how to calculate avalanche voltage and how to calculate avalanche energy uh, in LD spice. So, and these are some uh, random data uh, data sheet that I have chosen for uh, uh, understanding. So, yep. I hope uh, you like this video. So, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.